there's like big ruts of snow, ice on this Walmart. Holy crap, holy. I just hope I'm not getting my hopes up too high. Good morning guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, taking you along with me today for another ride along. I already had my first order on board actually, and it was an Uber Eats Walmart order. The offer amount on that order was for $16.03. Um, I've had trouble with Walmart orders on Uber Eats before, so I was a little hesitant to take it, but um, this Walmart had it out in less than five minutes, so um, the pickup, I wasn't very far from the store, and then the drop-off was only like a mile and a half or something like that. So I should have this dropped off in about two minutes. Not very many items, so let's get moving. All right, so I got that one dropped off. Forgot to um, take you with me on the drop off. Sorry about that. My next order is another Uber Eats order. It was for $25.05. Forgot to take a screenshot of that one and the one before, so I'm really off to a good start. I'll try to do better. Um, but it was picking up two packages. Um, i trying to remember how many miles. I think it was going 11 miles if I remember right. But it's not going to put me in a horrible area or anything. So, you know, 25 bucks probably take me half an hour to get this off. It, I'm going back to the same Walmart, so hopefully they're still pretty quick. I'm only about three minutes away from Walmart, so let's go get them on board. Alright, so I'm here at Walmart. Went to check in. Um, on the Uber Eats app and for some reason because it has two orders it didn't have like a place for me to check in. I looked everywhere, pushed everything I could think of and could not find a spot to check in. So um, I just caught one of the associates and had them check me in for the two orders. All right, so it took him about 10 minutes for him to get the uh, orders out, which isn't too bad. While I was sitting there waiting to, for them to load it, uh, there was a couple that was uh, getting into their car and then they tried to start their car, it didn't start. And the funny thing is, is like I just yesterday for Christmas got this um, handy little gadget that um, comes, you know, with the wires and everything. I don't know what you call it. It's car jump starter or something like that. But I was really excited to use it when I saw their car wasn't starting. <laughs> So I went over to him. I scared the lady, number one, didn't mean to, but uh, I asked him if they needed a jump start. So I got to use my Christmas present for the first time. So came in handy. I wasn't going to take that order, but I guess maybe that's why I was supposed to take that order because uh, they needed some help. Not that they probably couldn't have got somebody else to do it, but hey, it was less hassle for them. And Actually, I just had to have a new battery put in my car. That's what was wrong with it. In my previous video, I told you I had to take my car in or have it towed in to have it fixed. And the only thing it needed was a battery, which is weird because the last time I took it in for the same problem, they said it wasn't the battery. And they did all that spark plug work and cleaned out my uh, fuel. They did like a fuel injection and all that kind of stuff. I don't know much about cars, but it was something like that. So, um, <clears throat> and that was $750. The battery was like $300 something dollars. So I wish they would have started with the battery. Might have taken care of my problem. The uh, drop off, I had like a big 50 pound bag of bird seed <laughs> to carry. So I'll get this next one. So now I'm on my way to the second drop off and it should be done. Only about 10 minutes, so gosh, probably what a total of 35 minutes for this order for $25. Definitely worth it. Alright guys, I got my next order. It is on DoorDash, picking up from Panera Bread. It was for $6.50 and going like 3.6 miles. I forgot to take a screenshot. It's been like, it's been a long time since I've done a ride along with you guys, so um, please bear with me. 
I will get better. All right guys, my next order is on DoorDash. It was for $21.50, going 11.5 miles. Forgot to take a screenshot again. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. I am so out of the habit of um, taking screenshots. I have just I just keep forgetting. So uh, this one is picking up from IHOP. So it's kind of taking me back over to where I was uh, picking up from that Walmart. So I thought maybe I could go over there and catch a few of those orders again. Uh, if not, there's some restaurants out there that maybe I could get something uh, bringing me back. So I'm not too worried about it. You know, tw for $21.50, it's not going to take me very long to do this order. I would say half an hour at the most, even if it takes me that long. Uh, you know that's that's good money and the miles to money ratio isn't horrible as long as I don't have to come back empty-handed so um, and even at that even if I do end up doing that it'll be almost a dollar a mile so I'm I'm okay with that for this trip uh, it's twenty one dollars and fifty cents in my pocket right so I'm already here at high I'm already high hop I'm already here at IHOP, so let's go in and grab this. All right, so that last order went up to $22.50. I'll take it, extra dollar. So I'm just waiting on my next order. I'll let you know as soon as I get it. All right, guys, I have my next order on Spark. It's for $23.39. Base pay $16.39, and it has a $7 tip. Uh, it's going 4.3 miles. Uh, just one order. It's a shop and deliver, and there's only three items. So hard to beat that, you know, for three items and that many miles so I took it I'm not very far from the store less than a mile so let's go shopping I was only able to get like two, yeah, it was only two, actually, two of the four or five, two of the five items, actually. So I couldn't get to the meat because they didn't have hot water, so they weren't doing, they weren't cutting anything because they couldn't wash their hands to put gloves on. And then uh, they didn't have any ruffles because it's Monday after a holiday. So there was no chance in heck that they were going to get any potato chips that they wanted. And then uh, they wanted like a mandarin orange drink and they were totally out of that and they didn't have a substitution listed. Um, so I didn't get anything. So I only got two of the five items they wanted. So one thing I was noticing on the 
Uber Eats Walmart trips is if there's a tip on the order, you get it right away. Like you don't have to wait that hour um, for that tip to show up. So that's one good thing about those. I didn't realize that. I, I haven't done very many of them. I think I tried one or two and on the second one, I ended up waiting a really long time for it and then I ended up not doing it. It was, it was not a good experience, so I quit doing them, but um, I mean, if the stores can keep up, I may start doing them again. It probably depends on the store, just like anything else, so, uh, so we'll see. Yeah, I have this feeling I'm not going to be getting a tip on that. So there was a $7 tip on it. I think she's probably going to take it away. But it wasn't my fault they were out of stuff. She could have canceled the order. So, but yeah, she had no chips to go with her dip. So, <laughs> I don't know. But the thing is, is there's a Walmart like two blocks from here. Why she didn't pick up from that one, I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't know why Spark does that. I don't know why any of these apps do that. So I'm just kind of waiting on my next order. I have uh, Spark, DoorDash, and Uber Eats turned on. So I'm just working the three apps today. So I have my next order. It is on DoorDash. Here we go on DoorDash uh, for $6.50. Uh, it was only going a few miles. I forgot to get a screenshot again. So sorry. So, but it wasn't going very far. So once I get this Taco Bell order done, uh, I've accepted an order on Spark for $33.56. Uh, base pay on that's $18.56 and they left a $15 tip. So there's uh, only six items and it's going 9.3 miles. So not a bad little order. I'm here at Taco Bell. Let's go get it done. gosh it is cold and blustery and we're having snow flurries I don't think anything's supposed to stick so um <clears throat> whoa there's like big ruts of snow ice on this Walmart holy crap holy this Walmart street it's like geez oh Pete so when I was shopping for that order, they ordered two coffee machines, espresso machines, whatever you want to call them, and they were totally out of them. And then they also got coffee, uh, but they didn't have the two of the size that they wanted. So I could only get one of that, and then I had to substitute a smaller one of that same brand. So. I'm thinking these were Christmas presents, and they're probably gonna be pretty disappointed that they weren't able to get their Christmas presents to give away. So they got coffee and no coffee machines. And the last lady I shopped for got uh, dip but no chips. So, <sighs> Monday, I can tell you Monday is the worst day to do shop and deliver orders because they're always out of everything because of the weekend. 
and then because it's uh, Monday after a holiday it's even worse so I, it's just to get what you can I guess that's all I can do so Park actually has an incentive going on today where you can do six trips for $40 or 10 trips for $70. So actually it's over the next two days, the 26th and the 27th. So I'd really like to shoot for that over the next couple days. Um, they haven't had a lot of good orders out there, but you never know when it might change. So. I will uh, keep plugging along at that and try and get that extra money. And right now in the area I like to dash in, there's a $2.50 peak pay going on till about $1.30. So $1.29. I think it's $1.29, you know. Can't give you that extra minute. Okay, we'll go do this one. We're going to do a $9.00. Burger King 2.7 miles. I'm gonna have to turn around I'll do a I'm not gonna do a UE but I gotta head back the direction I just came from. So we'll do that because it is taking me the direction I need to go to kind of get back in the area to do some more spark. They've got a lot of spark orders out there but they look like the um, in-store pickups. The ones that have a lot of miles. Oh, sorry, I should have had my turn signal on. <laughs> They're probably wondering why I'm sitting there. So, yeah, everything's like a lot of miles. This one's not too bad. I just don't like the area that it's in. Yeah, it's taking me over to the Missouri side. I, I don't want to be over on the Missouri side. Their roads would prop probably none of the roads would be cleared off. They're horrible about that. There's a $14 one for 1.1 miles. That wouldn't be too bad. It's an ASAP though. And I gotta do this DoorDash order first. So I'll see if it's still there in a little bit. It's not one of those like, oh, I gotta have it. So we'll see what um, comes of it. So I'm not very far from the Burger King. I was only like maybe three or four blocks from it. Okay, so uh, while I was standing in there waiting for my Burger King order, I grabbed a Spark order. So it's going to be for $17 and it's only going like 1.1 miles. So uh, $10 base pay, $7 tip, uh, just one order. So shoot for 1.1 miles take that any day. So I'm heading to drop off the Burger King right now and this order is taking me the direction of the uh, spark order so I should be able to drop this off and then go to the Walmart store and uh, pick up uh, that spark order and it's it's a um, just a delivery only so I'm not shopping for it just picking it up and dropping it off. So that's kind of where we're at right now. So, pulled up, checked in, and he had it out in like less than two minutes. So, it is an express delivery. It was actually supposed to be delivered by 1224, but I didn't, I didn't even accept it until like 1230. So, it's 1253 right now. So... This will not be on time, but I'm not worried about it. So 
it is what it is. Sweet, so I'm like five minutes from the drop off. So let's go get it done. So I have my next order. It's another Spark order. It's an express delivery, so just pick up and deliver. Uh, for $17.11, going 4.7 miles. So this order actually uh, was out there previously for $14.11. I was just kind of watching it, and all of a sudden it just jumped up to $17.11. So they added $3 extra. Uh, to get it delivered quickly so um, it has a base pay of ten dollars and eleven cents and previously it was for seven dollars and eleven cents and I didn't want to do seven dollars <clears throat> I didn't want to go uh, I didn't want to go almost five miles for seven dollars but I'll go almost five miles for ten dollars just in case I get tip baited so um, let me start the trip. I'm already here. Uh, confirm arrival. And I'm in spot number four. So they should have it out pretty quick um, since, since it's an express. So there's just six items. It's really small. Uh, it does say it's still getting ready. Dang it. So they probably won't have it out here very fast. So it's like 107 right now. I'll uh, let you know how long it takes. All right, guys, uh, <clears throat> I'm on my way to go drop this off. It took them about, uh, well, it took about six minutes to show that the order was ready on the app and then they were out with it in about three minutes. So a total of about nine minutes there. So not too bad. Um, I'm probably about four minutes from the drop-off now, so let's go get her done. Alright guys, I'm back at Walmart for another Spark order. Uh, this one was for $14 going 0.5 miles, so there's a $9 base pay with a $5 tip. Um, it's 30 items. It is going to an apartment. I didn't really look to see if there was any big items on it or not. So let me check. <laughs> okay, so this is why nobody was taking it. Not that it was that great of an order anyway, but um, there's three 24 counts of water. But, I mean, the, I can handle the 24 packs better than the 40 packs, so <clears throat> this shouldn't be, this shouldn't be an issue. I mean, it's not going to be that hard. Even if, it's on the, even if it's on the second or third floor, I'll be fine. So, 30 items. Um, I just checked in at 2, so hopefully it does show ready. I think it was an express order, so... Um, they should have it out here pretty quick. Uh, yes. They're loading it up now. There's pack one. There's pack two. There's pack three. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, let's be on our way and see what we got when we get there. Three minutes away. Got it? Yeah. I'll hand these to you so you don't bend over. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's that. You go lay down. Go on. <laughs> There's that. Oh, got it? Whoop. Nope. Okay. There we go. There you go. Go on. Get out of here. <laughs> I can. I'll be right back. Okay. All righty. That's Thank the last you. of it. Oh, you're quite welcome. Thank you. Uh -huh. Have a great day. Thank you. You Thanks. too. Thanks. Happy holidays. Be careful out here. Thank you. Okay, so I lucked out. It was on the first floor. 
and she was like right around the corner behind the steps so not too far to go with them um, this was actually trip number five if I can get one more trip I'll get $40 um, for the for the incentive and then to get an additional $30 uh, I would just need to do four more trips after that and I have till t I have tomorrow to get it all done. Well, nothing's popping up right now on my app. So I still have DoorDash and I still have Uber Eats going. I had them paused though when I was doing that trip. So I'm gonna unpause those and see if I can get anything there and I'll still watch for orders on Spark. All right, guys, got my next order on DoorDash for $6.50 going 1.4 miles, and I'm picking up at Chipotle. I'm right here at the Chipotle. I was, like, driving past it when they gave me the order, so I just had to make a little bit of a UE, not too bad. So uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, that's a handicap. They tried to stack it with another order, but it was going, like, almost 8 miles, so I thought, nah. I'm not doing that, so I declined it. So let's go in and grab this one. Hopefully they'll stack something else with it, but if not, it's still a good order. All right, so they're trying to stack this with a Smoothie King order. For six dollars, eight point three miles, one item. Not happening. All right, so that increased to seven dollars and seventy nine cents. It was actually at the Hy-Vee uh, drive-through pickup line. Um, but I didn't read the instructions before I got out, so I could have just pulled up through the drive through line and handed it to him. Instead, I walked out in the cold for three to five minutes. So anyway, so <laughs> my two o'clock hour was just pretty sucky. <laughs> I only made like that $7.79. I haven't had any offers on spark like there's nothing out there like it just totally died there's not a single order out there i didn't get sent a round robin offer so i'm hoping this like isn't all dying down it looks busy on spark so uh, it looks busy on uh, doordash so maybe i can keep some orders going there uh yeah i have uber eats on I'm not hitting anything there either so I'll uh, just I'll just keep you posted. Uh, as soon as I get something, I'll be sure to let you know. All right, guys, got an order coming in on DoorDash for two dollars and seventy-five cents, going seven point three miles. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, so it's about three oh seven right now. Uh, this order's coming through on DoorDash. Uh, picking up a Bates barbecue for five dollars and it's kind of slow right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and um, make at least five bucks because it has slowed down tremendously so let's take that one and Bates it's not very far as you can see I'm about three minutes from the pickup half a mile so let's go get it done All right, guys, got my next order on DoorDash. Um, they're coming in really slow. That's all I can say. Um, picking up at McDonald's for $6.50, seven items going 0.9 miles. So I'm just right across the street from the McDonald's. So just right over there. And then it shouldn't be 
it'll be less than a mile from there. So I'm like yards away right now. So let's go get it on board. That's a good one. Oh, hey, hello. I didn't realize I still had you on. Um, so I just grabbed a banger, guys. Uh, this one is picking up at Old Shawnee Pizza. It's for $10.25. This order has 10 items on it. And the subtotal on it is $169.67. So I'm expecting this to go up probably quite a bit. So right now I'm only a few minutes away from the uh, pickup wasn't sitting very far away so let's go grab it I just noticed that DoorDash has a peak pay going on uh, from 3:30 to 5:29. so it just started about eight minutes ago okay so it looks like Candace ordered some garlic knots three classic salads and then one two three four six pizzas so, like I said, I think it's going to be a pretty good payout on this order. So, I'm excited. I just hope I'm not getting my hopes up too high. All right guys, I didn't get my hopes up too high. I had my expectations too low. So I ended up getting uh, $37.69. So they were excellent tippers. I'm out of breath. Um, so they, they tipped pretty much what? Let's see. They tipped um, about 20%. So that's, yeah, that's a really good tip. Hang on, I got some in my eyes. So, oh, I needed one of those today. All right, guys, got my next order. It's on... Uh, Your destination is on the left. Excuse me. It's on DoorDash. Uh, for $8... Man, this sun. Oh, it's a killer. It's for $8.50. Uh, this is not going to go up because there is a $3 peak pay right now. So, really, it's a $5.50 order. Um... It's just one item going 2.6 miles, uh, picking up from Sarpino's Pizzeria. So I'm here at Sarpino's already, so let's go in and grab it. Hello. Thank you for your, 
let me know you're on the way. Oh, sure. No worries. Thank Have you. A good day. You Thank too. You. Thank you. All right. I accepted an order on DoorDash again. Picking up at Hayward's Pit Barbecue. And it was for uh, $10.50 going 4.5 miles. So remember, I have a $3 peak pay going on. So this really would have been a $7.50 order. Uh, I don't really expect this to go up. Might go up a little bit if it does, maybe 50 cents to a dollar. So still good miles to money ratio. So let's go get it on board. Ooh, that's sun. My next order is on DoorDash. So, a lot of DoorDash this afternoon. I don't know what happened to Spark. Um, I haven't received an offer for probably since, what, like two o'clock and it's almost five. So I don't know if something's wrong with their system or, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on with them. I need one more to reach my six trips to get the $40. I know last week Spark was having a lot of trouble with their app, so maybe they're having a lot of trouble this time. I, I just, I haven't had time to call because I've been busy on DoorDash, so um, if I get a minute, I'll call them and see what's going on. So anyway, right now, and I'm already here at the restaurant I'm going to be picking up from. Uh, it's on DoorDash. Oh, I already told you that. So, picking up from ABC Cafe, and that's that's a, uh, I think it's a Chinese restaurant. And it's for $10.50, going 3.5 miles for five items. Uh, remember, I got the $3 peak pay, so it's really a $7.50 order, which still has the opportunity for a hidden tip. Um, but I don't know if it'll go up or not. If it doesn't, it's okay. It's still good miles to money ratio. Um, but it would be nice if it did go up. And I have to apologize. I did not get the last drop off. I thought I turned my camera on, but I think I turned it off. So I missed the whole thing. It was a hand to customer. I mean, it was a, it was a leave at door, but the customer came to the door. So I just handed it to him. So it was... Hello there. Hello. How are you? Well, how are you doing? Good. There's the soup. Okay. And there's everything else. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. Thank you. Have a good one. All right. That order had a hidden tip on it. Um, went from ten fifty to twelve dollars, so just a dollar fifty. But hey, I'll still take it. I ain't got a complaint. So I'm actually just kind of waiting on my next order. It's uh, five oh three. So getting into the dinner rush, hopefully it's a rush. So I'll let you know as soon as I get some. All right, so I called Spark uh, to see what was going on. They had me sign out and sign back in. Uh, I haven't, still haven't received any offers. They said they were gonna escalate it to the technical department. So they resolved nothing for me at this point. So I'm probably just screwed the rest of the day. I might as well just turn it off. But in the meantime, I did get another order on DoorDash for $9.50. Uh, picking up at Church's Texas Chicken, which is just right across the street behind me here. So uh, it shows 5.1 miles on my uh, app, but it picked up some of my old mileage. So I think it was about 3.1 miles or something like that. So, um, just picking up two items, 
There's probably drinks. It seems like there's always drinks on these. What do we got? Five piece tenders with a Coke and an extra biscuit. So let's go get Catherine's food. Alright guys, got my next order, DoorDash, $14.50, picking up from Jack Stack Barbecue. It's going 8.8 .8 miles. So the subtotal on it was for $54, right around there. So I'll be surprised if this goes up any. There's a peak pay again, uh, I think until $7.29 now. It's like $5.42 right now. So... Um, 150. So I mean that stands a chance of going up. There could be a hidden tip. If there is one, it's probably not going to be very much. So I'm only a few minutes away from the restaurant. So let's go get it on. Do me a favor and park in this stall number one for sure. me right here. Sure will. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank uh -huh. you. And there we are, dear. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. Thanks. Thank you. All right, that order went up 50 cents. So, ended up being $15. I really don't understand why DoorDash has to hide stuff that small, especially. It's just, it's, it's ludicrous. Just ludicrous. Anyway, I am waiting on my next order. It's about 6.12 right now. Uh, I'm out of my zone, so, I would like to get an order taking me back up into my zone or close to home. And I and I would probably make that my last order. It's not like extremely busy. I mean the map shows busy, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, right now I'm pretty much done for the day. If I can just get an order going back, I will do that. I guess I need to turn on Uber Eats, see if I get anything there. And DoorDash says it's trying to find orders for me. This is a fairly busy area that I'm in. Uh, but I just don't know how busy it is down here at all. So I'm going to end my dash and then I'm going to do a dash along the way to get back into my zone because sometimes that seems to work better for me than, yeah, there's a $3 peak pay down here too. I don't know why, it just sometimes seems to work quicker when I do it this way. So I'm gonna sit down in this area for just a little bit. They've sent me a couple offers, but one of them only took me like part way and then there would be nothing there to get me further up where I need to go. And then the other one was taking me really far east and I don't want to go that far east. So I have until 645 to get back up into my area for the dash along the way. It's like 622 right now. So I'll give it another five to 10 minutes and see if I get anything. Um, I don't know how much more they'll try since I've, oh, here comes one. Let's see what it is. Yeah, see, these are all for down here in this area. I want something that's going to take me all the way. Yeah, and this one's for $7.50, but 
going 1.5 miles, which is a good miles to money ratio, but I just want something that's going to take me all the way. I don't want to, I don't want to mess around with all these little ones that aren't going to get me very far. So yeah, I want something that's going to take me a lot farther north than what these are taking me. These are just, the ones they're sending me are just ones that are still in this zone, but I want something that's taking me back to my zone, totally back to my zone. So I'll let you know as soon as I get something. All right, I got one. Um, this one's picking up from Torchy's Tacos for $11.50 going 10.9 miles, uh, four items, uh, but it's taking me all the way over to uh, K7, which is pretty, if I go straight north from there, I will uh, be home. So I'm gonna take that one, and this is gonna be my last order. So I'm only like a minute away from the pickup, so let's go grab it. All right guys, I dropped off that last delivery about 6.45, so I worked 10 and a half hours. Uh, I made $277.31. Um, hourly rate would be $26.41. And then the dollars per mile was $1.83. If you wanna say $1.84, that works too. I appreciate you guys riding along with me today and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video.